Well, there it is, guys. What most people refer to as the best beetle ever made. The 1967, 66 or 67? Let's start with the aesthetics, the front end. A lot of people I talk to just can't get over the upright headlights on the 67. Most people prefer the 60s style and you know, early headlights. Let's move out back on the two cars. The 66 had the one year only 1300 engine. The 66 was also the last year for the earlier style deck lid. The 67 came with this deck lid here, squared off at the bottom, bumped out in the middle. This one obviously being a convertible has the convertible uh, vents. The 66 and 67 shared some similar features. The door handles, 66, 67. The wheels, 66, 67. Some other exterior features on the 67, the reverse lights and some models had the slanted bumper to help clear the new deck lid. Also, some 67s came equipped with these SB12 headlight rings. 67s had one-year only trim. They had the thinner trim here. I'm not gonna get into all the one-year only stuff, but just some basic differences between the appearance of the 66 and the 67. Most notably, the headlights. Let's get into the interior. For me, this is a, no comparison. The 66 interior wins hands down. You have the earlier style, style uh, door pulls, ivory window crank knobs, dash knobs, shifter knob. It's just a prettier interior. Here's the 67 interior. You can see the black knobs, the new door pulls. Not terrible, but just a step down in my opinion. The 67 received a 1500 engine and this engine only had three more horsepower, but it had about 10 more pounds of torque. Seat of the pants and the numbers, you're gonna notice the difference with the 1500. It's about two seconds quicker, zero to 60. Not that, that matters, but drivability on this and performance, it is, it is quicker and you do notice it. Another big difference is six volt and 66 to 12 volt and 67. For me, it's not much of a game changer. I don't do radios. I don't care about plugging a cell phone in. I enjoy driving the car. Headlights dimmer, brighter. I don't really see too much of a difference. You can go LEDs, it's up to you. But um, a lot of people, that's one thing they, they go crazy about is the 12 volt on the 67. But for me, it doesn't bother me. 67 also got the dual master cylinder nice braking upgrade so it really just comes down to what you want the look you want for me i have a soft spot with the 67s my first car was a 67 so when i see upright headlights and the towel uh, older style bumpers it just says 67. i'm not a crazy holy grail rare one year only kind of guy I do like the 67s. I love the 60s. I love the 50s. Just a good look at getting the 66 and the 67 together. For some of you that are maybe looking at purchasing a Beetle, you can get a good look at the aesthetics of each. So with that, I'm giving the win to the 66. It's not far off in performance. Driving it around town, you're really not gonna notice. If you want more power, you can bump the 1300 up, putting the big bore pistons in. I love my 67s, but I gotta give the nod to the 66. And I own a few 67s, I, I, I love 67s, but I do love that sea blue 66. Welcome back everyone. It's a warm February day here in Connecticut and we're out here with the 1988 924S Special Edition. Just cleaning out some of the debris here in the engine compartment. I'm gonna try and start this car today. It's been sitting for a few years. I'm not really sure, maybe 2014. So just show you a quick before. I'm gonna get it all cleaned out today. This is the special edition, one of 500 made, or I should say one of 500 shipped to the United States. 
You can see it has the original door panels. The seats were swapped, the red interior, manual windows. It does have the 756 and the 030 code, special edition. All right, I'll get it cleaned up. We'll bring you back and we'll see if we can't get this thing to fire. Matt from Barn Dubs is here. We just got this hatch finally pap popped, papped. So that's it. We're going to... Uh... Interior light works. Oh, does it? That's nice. Light, yep. Nice. We're going to get this thing hopefully fired off. Yeah, look at that. Get this thing fired off. Get this vacuumed out. Let's see what other goodies we got in here. Got some 80s finds. So we've got some water in the back seat. I see over here, got a, looks like a drain there. I don't know if we have one over here. What do we got? What do we got here? Toolkit, Porsche. Oh, oh nice. I've, it looks like it's never been used. That's got moisture too. That's pretty sweet. Take that on rescues. Too bad our toolkit got wet, rusty. All right, we're gonna start this thing or what? Let's start this thing. I'm thinking just throw a little fuel. In the intake. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if she. Uh, she kicks. She fires off. Yeah. I'm just you know what? I'm not even. Shoot it from this side. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna. No, I'm just filming this. Where's my fuel? Right there. Huh? I'm just filming these. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm filming. <laughs> So I roll. I'm an air-cooled guy. I don't know jack about these cars. So we're going with the JNC. Will it run? First start since 2014. Oh, it's kicking. Maybe you should put it in reverse already. Anything behind you? No, you're good. First drive. I should go reverse, huh? Yeah, you should. You're good. that you look good in that. Why is it still running? <laughs> Everything's just working. This is what happens to all the cars. <laughs> we get them running. What do you think? Why is the wipers on? Oh, I want to drive it now. So now we're moving on to some preventative clutch maintenance. We have a rusty hydraulic uh, clutch hose here. So that's it on the 924. Happy to know it runs. We'll test the uh, 
fuel pump see if that gets we'll put some power to it see if it comes on i didn't get to that today because matt and i are going to tackle this rusty clutch hose hydraulic uh master cylinder hose here so i <laughs> i just put the plate on it and uh i drove it to my other house and grabbed the trash can and uh clutch hose blew just like when I put the plate on the old Lexus RX 300 down there, the transmission went. Yeah, that's my luck, but hey, at least I got Orca here for a grand, so. So that's it, I'm gonna get back on this thing. Thank you guys for dropping in. I've just been busy selling cars, cleaning. It's been an awesome winter, it's been warm. Just trying to get ready for summer. Thin out the herd, take some of my uh, stress, get rid of some projects clean up this I got all kinds of this is sold luckily next I gotta tackle that Nissan same problem with the Nissan this thing runs just needs another clutch hose <laughs> what's with me and uh, clutch hoses all right guys hopefully you're having a good day thanks again for dropping in we'll see you soon take care hey, GTO is that the one you want that's the one 67 GTO oh, I'm gonna get one what tool is that you got there, Barn Dubs? We got the Capri. Nice. Bubble flare tool also does DIN flares for those Volkswagens. And you are in love with this tool. Oh, I love it. He's so in love with this tool. He drove an hour out here just, just to just to do this clutch line. He's so excited about this tool. Just to make this, this commercial. Tool. Just to make this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's it. Hopefully, uh, we can take this to lunch and go get some expensive. What did we get last time? Chicken wraps or something? Oh, yeah, I got a buffalo chicken wrap. Oh, That's did you? Yeah. You got to watch them. They get you. They charge you for the side, the salad. $16.95. And then I'll get on this tomorrow. It's going to be another nice day tomorrow. Fuel pump. Fuel pump. Uh, I already told you. Twisted T's are bad. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> One twisted tea, and I'm rocked. Lightweight. Lightweight city over here. Well, wish us luck. Capri Tool, check him out. He loves this thing. There goes the. <laughs> and that is why you change your clutch fluid. Mm. And brake fluid. Can we go eat now? Yeah, All let's right. go. That's Hungry. great. Another one back on the streets. Wife's all cocky in her sushi. <laughs> I'll show her.